Have a health problem? Take vitamin D, or at least that's what seemed to be the standard advice for a while, but the evidence has prompted a big revision in how experts think about vitamin D supplements. So vitamin D is essential for many bodily functions, and that led to researchers to explore how low levels of vitamin D might relate to a whole host of problems. And once we started looking, we found associations everywhere. The early evidence appeared in observational studies. The results showed an association between low levels of vitamin D and cancer, infectious diseases, autoimmune conditions, diabetes, and heart disease. And at the same time, experts were warning that a large number of people were deficient in this key nutrient, so there was a growing awareness of the importance of vitamin D, along with claims of widespread deficiency, so that prompted the Endocrine Society to publish a set of influential guidelines in 2011. They said that supplementing with vitamin D at levels of up to 2,000 international units a day or higher might be needed for some people. And recommendations like that had a dramatic impact. Vitamin D supplements are now incredibly popular, but since those guidelines were published in 2011, we've gathered a lot more data about vitamin D and its relationship to health, and most of it, unfortunately, has been disappointing, and even the Endocrine Society has revised its advice. When researchers discovered that the correlation between low vitamin D and health problems like cancer, the initial thought was that vitamin D was playing a causal role, so that would mean that vitamin D supplements should help to avoid those problems. But that raises a key issue with observational studies. Correlation is not the same thing as causation. So everyone knows, for example, that grey hair is associated with getting older, but that doesn't mean that grey hair is causing ageing. That's why we need to test ideas generated by observational studies with controlled trials. And that's what researchers have been doing with vitamin D supplements. And the results have been disappointing. Vitamin D doesn't reduce the rates of heart attacks. It doesn't bring down cancer rates. And they make no difference to all-cause mortality. So those studies and others like them cast serious doubt about the idea that we all need to be mega-dosing with vitamin D to improve our health.